Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. I have no concealer underneath my eyes, but I do have foundation on my face at the moment, which is making my under eye circles look a lot worse than they actually are. I mean, they are pretty bad generally, but at the moment, whew, they look, um, hmm. Anyway, let's get them covered over. Today, I am going to be reviewing a product that when it was released years and years and years ago was surrounded by hype. This was an absolutely revolutionary product and years later it's still surrounded by hype. In fact loads of the Pampered Wolf pack have contacted me and asked me to review this product in the past and um, I've finally given in. So today is that day when we are going to be reviewing the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. This needs to be good. This is £38 a pop. You get 18 grams worth of product which is 0.63 ounces. It's almost double the amount that you would get in a normal concealer, but this isn't a normal concealer. Let's do a little bit of bump on this product and we'll get some underneath my eyes. Okay, so this comes in 16 different shades and depending on what website you look at to purchase this, most shades are clearly marked with shade and undertone, so it makes it quite easy to pick the correct one. The one that I've gone for is SX05, which is for light skins with a neutral undertone. This can be used as a concealer. It's an extremely thick consistency. It is incredibly pigmented, very full coverage with only a very small amount of product. You can add this to your moisturizer as well to create more of a tinted moisturizer. I I haven't done that with this, I haven't tried it because this is quite a bit paler for my under eyes and I wouldn't really want to apply this all over my skin because I bought it for underneath the eyes. I think I would want one slightly deeper in colour for the rest of my face. So I haven't actually tried putting it in a tinted moisturiser. This can also be used as a full foundation. Again, I haven't tried it as a full foundation, but considering the consistency of this product, which is incredibly stiff, I would have thought this would be quite difficult to blend out once it's on the skin. This has the consistency of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, which is extremely thick, very, very emollient, and a little goes a very, very long way. This is supposed to be lightweight. It has honey and jojoba oil in here as well to nourish the skin. It gives a dewy glow to the skin. So some people aren't gonna like that. If you prefer a matte product for underneath the eyes, I would probably steer away from this because this is quite shiny. It does have a sheen that it leaves on the surface of the skin. This is sweat proof it's waterproof and it's also transfer resistant. Let's try it out. If you are new here, hi, my name's Gemma. I'm a qualified esthetician and lover of anything beauty, skincare and makeup. I upload videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 8 p.m. London time. And I'm also on Instagram if you fancy following me on there. It's at Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces. I'd really appreciate it if you would consider clicking on that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Now, I've got my usual concealer already prepped and underneath my eye and the one that I've used on that side is the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite in the shade C3. I've gone over that underneath just very very lightly with a little bit of the Bare Minerals SPF 20 Eye Brightener. Ooh, where are we? And that is in the shade Well Rested. So that is my process on this side. So we're gonna try out the Kevin Aquan on this side. So this isn't going to be a first impressions review. As you can see, I have already used this product. I've actually used it time and time and time again over the last couple of weeks to really get to grips with it. This is such a thick, creamy formula. And I've got to say, when I first got it, I absolutely hated it. There were lots of teething errors. I had to adapt to the amount of product that I actually had to apply to my skin to make sure that it didn't crease because on day one, this creased absolutely everywhere. So I suppose there's a level of retraining yourself with this product with the amount that you actually have to apply to the skin because it's a pinprick amount, it really is. 
This does have a fragrance. It's a bit like a floral talcum powder, sort of old school fragrance. It's, it's not one of those fragrances that repulses me. It's not a very strong fragrance and it tends to dissipate quite quickly. But for those of you that are sensitive to fragrance or really don't like it, you may have a problem with it. Now the brush that you actually apply this product with is actually going to be quite important. So I don't actually use a concealer buffing brush, which I used to apply the concealer under this eye. I'm actually going to use more of a flat concealer brush for this. And then I'm going to go in with my fingers or a damp blending sponge to blend things out right at the end to make sure that I've removed any excess product. Really, really important. So I'm just going to take the tiniest bit of concealer on the end of the brush and I'm going to apply it to the back of my hand because you don't want a lot of concealer on your brush. Then I'm going to take the tiniest amount of the product and I'm going to go in straight away just on my darkness. You can see there there's very little product on there but it is extremely high coverage. It's really fantastic coverage. So I'm just gonna take that up where I get a little bit of discoloration on the inner corner and start to pat that in place. Take a little bit on the outer corner. For the amount that I picked up on my brush was such a small amount and yet it's spreading a long way. I probably put three times this amount on on day one so you can understand why I was seriously disappointed after about an hour when it had just creased absolutely everywhere. So I'm just patting and blending and really just patting the product into the skin. It feels really nice on the skin because of the jojoba oil. It just feels like it's doing some good on my skin as well as concealing the things I need concealing. Hardly any product whatsoever and, and look at the coverage that I've already got. So this is one of my favorite concealers that I've used. It has much more of a matte finish, whereas this one is much more dewy. So once you've actually applied it, and if you can see on the back of my hand how much product I have left over on the back of my hand that I am going to completely waste, it's really difficult to get the amount that you actually need out without wasting product because you need so little. So once I've got that on my under eye, I'm just going to take a damp blending sponge and really pound that in. Again, I'm not dragging the under eye at all. I'm just tapping. Nice amount of pressure, but not too rough. Then I'm going to start blending this down a little bit and also out. Once you've finished with the blending sponge, I'd just like to go in with my finger around any fine lines, anywhere that I would usually get a little bit of creasing and just tap that in place. You can do this from the start. You don't need to use a damp blending sponge. You can just pat this product in place using your finger and the warmth of your finger will really help this product bed into the skin. So I'm going to apply a little bit of powder just to set this in place. I do know that this can be a little bit temperamental with the powder because this is such a thick creamy formula. If you add too much powder this can go really cakey and clumpy and still crease because the cream is going to stay wet underneath the powder for quite a considerable amount of time. So that cream will move and the bit on the top with the powder will be quite stiff and therefore you'll get breaking of the concealer on the surface and that won't look overly pleasant. So I do try and make sure that I've left this concealer, this concealer, not this one, that I've left this concealer for a considerable amount of time to really just sink into the skin. So I'm just going to go in and just again tap that on the skin. 
and that's it. That's all I will do. And I think it looks pretty good. Really, really good. Let me zoom you in. So this is going to be a really quick and simple video. I'm going to give you my final thoughts because I know this isn't going to move all day. I know it's going to stay perfect and I know I'm going to really get on with it. But, and there's a big, big but, this is a very temperamental concealer. You have to apply the smallest amount, otherwise you are going to be faced with issues all day and it's going to cause a lot of people a lot of problems. You also either have time for this concealer in the morning or you don't. This is going to take a lot of messing around with before you actually get to grips with the concealer and really get to know it so that you become friends because I really did not like this right at the very beginning and had I chucked the towel in at day three I wouldn't have been able to get the beautiful coverage and also the really nice ingredients and hydrating ingredients and emollient ingredients that I absolutely long for within a concealer. So it has taken a lot of time and effort and a lot of people just haven't got the time for that or haven't got the patience for that and that is absolutely fine. So I can't actually say at this point whether this is worth the £38. I would prefer if they'd given you half the amount of product for half the price. That would make it much more manageable for me. So I feel like I might not have helped a lot of people during this video, but I can only be as honest as I can be and say how I truly feel. And I really like this, but it's not come without its issues and it's extremely expensive. You are going to either love it or hate it. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I couldn't have been more, you are going to love this, you need to buy it sort of thing. But um that's for you to decide. Hope to see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.